Valley Reserves. I think you're second to the last. The gentleman from Montana. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, I'm not the Speaker of the House. I'm not the Majority Leader. But you know what I do do? I represent more people in the United States Congress than anybody sitting in this body consistently. After every census, I have the most population. I probably have more town hall meetings as well. I probably have more hospitals, more highways, more of everything in my congressional district. And I've had more town hall meetings probably than anyone, 75. And in those 75, they all tell me the same thing. They do need health care reform. They need to control the cost of health care, but they get it. They understand this does not do it. You would not need waivers for unions and big businesses if it was working. You would not need legislation to fix the 1099 on the penalty for the $600 purchases if it was working. You wouldn't have to cook the books as they attempt to do by counting a $750 billion tax increase as a reason to suggest that if we repeal it, it's going to cost the government something. That's funny money. It's not true. Nobody in America believes it. Get out, listen at your town hall meetings, travel around my state, do the 75 town hall meetings like I did, and you will find you cannot control the cost of health care if you leave defensive medicine out. We gave an opportunity for people to join the federal system. It was turned down by the Democrats in committee. They voted it down on a party line vote. This is not the way to reform health care. It was done very quickly. In fact, the, the sponsor of the bill said, I didn't need to read the bill. That's what I have staff for. It was so large, it was done so quickly, there was not enough input that the people of America know this is not the right thing to do. It's a job killer. It's going to bust our budget. In the end, it does, in fact, cost us $2.6 trillion to implement in the first 10 years. Please support this. Let's begin defunding Obamacare. Gentlemen, yeah, gentlemen yields back.